What's going on everybody? This your boy Isaiah coming to you again from Buckos Locker. Subscribe, like, comment, share on all my videos. Make sure you hit the notification button on this channel to notify you on all new videos that's posted on this channel. Yes, folks, I'm late. I'm a couple days late on my uh my my outtake on the Bears and Bucks game this past Sunday. Uh, shouts out to Travis for his uh review of the game. Uh, I got you know I had to give my review of the game. You know I'm just a little late. That's behind. I'm a couple days late. My bad, folks. I apologize. Uh, life gets in the way sometimes. But uh, I want to give my uh my review of the game real quick. A little summary. Um, and very impressive victory overall by beating the Chicago Bears very decisively. Uh, it was an easy game. Uh, the Bears are a, a bad organization with a bad roster. You know, they have a couple good players on the team. Cohen, Jordan Howard, you know, um, Leonard Floyd. They got a, you know, they got a couple good guys on the team. But overall, their, their roster is not good. And their coach is a lame duck coach, John Fox. And a lame duck, co a lame duck GM as well. Um... So back to the to the Bucks. Uh, overall, I'm going to give the Bucks a B plus, um, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna talk about the good, and I'm gonna talk about the bad. You gotta be objective about this team, folks. You can't. Everything can't be all gray A beef. Okay. The uh, Jameis Winston looked good. Um, he did his thing. He he didn't turn the ball over, which we want. Which that's what we want from Jameis. Don't turn the ball over. We'll more than likely win a lot of games. The running game was good. Uh, in, in spots, and in some spots it was like, uh, the passing game, um, like, uh, Mike Evans, Deshaun Jackson, Adam Humphrey, Cameron Brait, O.J. Howard, um, Chris Godwin didn't get a, a catch that game for some reason, some miscommunication on, in the end zone, but we'll work on that. The offensive line was, was good overall, and, and I give it, yeah, it was pretty good, you know. Um, defensively, A's across the board, the defensive line shut down Jordan Howard and Cohen, the two star running backs they got. Um, Mike Glennon is Mike Glennon. You know, you seen, you seen why we didn't, you see, you now you see why we drafted James Winston because Mike Glennon is Mike Glennon. Uh, he turns the ball over. He'll, he'll throw for, he'll throw for a lot of yards and have a lot of completions, but he'll turn the ball over. Um, the linebackers, uh, Levante, Quan, and Kendall Beckwith. That would Kendall Beckwith was a steal. Kendall Beckwith was a steal, folks. That dude is really good. He can play the outside and middle linebacker. Quan Alexander's hurt with a hamstring injury, but you know I think that's a minor injury. We'll we'll get past that. He should be good to go for the next game. Uh, Levante, monster. Like I said, Kendall Beckwith, good rookie debut. Um, the secondary, the secondary was, was pretty good. Um, they was giving up a lot of uh slant routes i hate for some odd reason we give up a lot of yards slant routes uh completion percentage against our secondary would be so high like 70 percent i don't know why they don't play a little bit tighter but that's neither here there you know we had some interceptions you know i mean robert mcclain did his thing um tj ward showed up um brent grimes and vernon hargraves did their thing as well uh, special teams was good the coaching mike smith the defensive play calling was overall good like I said, overall, I give it a B plus, and but I also got to be objective too. I got to talk about the bad real quick. Um, I got to point out some things that can be a problem down the road. Uh, Donovan Smith, uh, there was a couple times in the game he 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 lacked uh, footwork, and he still has that footwork problem. And I keep saying this, uh, he's not a bad offensive lineman. But I think he'll be a better guard or a right tackle because left tackle he has problems. His footwork. Um, the secondary, like I said, they did a good job, but they gave up a, a lot of dinking and dunking and quick routes to Mike Glennon. And Mike Glennon had over 300 yards, but it took him 30 completions, and he had like 40 attempts or something like that, 50 attempts or something like that. But it gave up a lot of like uh, slant routes and and in, in cutting routes. And teams like doing that against us. I mean, I get the bend don't break defense, but that can hurt us against better quarterbacks. See, Mike Glennon, you can bend. And don't break because he'll turn the ball over. But quarterbacks like, you know, Tom Brady, which we'll be facing, you know, Matt Ryan, you can't do the bend and break. You got to be a little aggressive on the play call and, and jump these routes because they do a lot of slants against us. And that's going to be all year long. I don't know if Mike Smith is going to be a little bit more aggressive with his corners and tighten up the coverage, but we'll see. Um, the safeties there are pretty good. Uh, like I said, T.J. Ward is getting acclimated to the team, and I like that. Um, so... 
like I said, um, yeah, Nick Folk missed the field goal too on special teams. But overall, like I said, it was a B plus. On to the next game. Um, we got the Minnesota Vikings. Very tough defense. They coming off a loss against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, and the Steelers pretty much you know, took over the game with their uh, throwing the ball because it's hard to run the ball on Minnesota. And they got good cornerbacks too. So they got a really good defense, really good pass rush. But we'll see how we hold up against them. Uh, we want to know on the Minnesota folks. I like what I've seen so far in the first game of the season. It's a long season, folks. We got 15 more weeks to go. So on to the next. This is your boy Isaiah. Coming to you from Buckles Locker. Share all my videos. The movement is here. The Bucks 1-0. Fire those cannons. Siege the day.